All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to look at um, a maker's mark or a branding iron I was asked to make. Uh, customer supplied me with the logo. I vectorized it and uh, in a spire and cut it on the CNC. And that's the end result. It's made with one inch brass rod uh, and a walnut, piece of one inch walnut there. For the handle and I'll show you in Aspire how I took the vectors and um, did a mirror image of them and exported out for a tool path. It took quite a while. Uh, I had 10 different versions of it. I finally got one that, that looked good and uh, was quality work. Of course by the time I got cutting it 10 times there wasn't much left to it so I went with a new blank and again that's uh one inch brass uh drilled and tapped for quarter 20. in the the very first version of this i used a, a 10 millimeter bolt that i had laying around but the mass of that bolt i think was acting as a heat sink because uh the heat was really traveling up that that big bolt but with quarter 20 it wasn't near as much of a problem so anyhow, we'll take you through the steps. I'll show you, uh, I did some filming throughout, and we'll have a look at it. If it's good enough, subscribe and hit the like button. Ring that bell if you want to see other videos that I've put out. I've got quite a few out there. So anyhow, here we go. All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. Let's start on the software side of making this brand. I'm going to start by opening up two versions of Aspire. One is the one where I've done the work, and we'll open up a, a new file in Aspire just so I can briefly show you what I went through here to, to get this done. So I'm creating a new file, setting a stock for one inch by one inch, and that's the size of the brass round that I'm using. And we'll be working off the center. And I'm just going to come over here and copy the logo that I started with. I'm going to come over here and paste it in. And that's the logo that I started with. And Aspire will let you trace a bitmap, so I'm just going to grab the, the tracing of it, get us a vector to work with. layers always get me. I'm trying to separate the logo from the actual vectors that we just created here. Alright, we've got them copied over to a new layer now. I should be able to separate them out. And now we have just our vectors of the logo, the original. So let's go ahead and run a tool path and see what this looks like to start with. Uh, but first, very important thing, we've got to reverse it. We've got to do a mirror image of it or else your brand will come out the mirror image. So that's a key point. I made that mistake a couple of times. Just going to do a V-carve on it, cutting 65 thousandths deep with a 60 degree V-bit. Let's have a look. Alright, right off the bat, it didn't remove the material I was looking for. I wanted to do a relief. So to do that, you simply draw a bounding box around the vectors. And that'll tell Aspire to remove all the material up to the, the vectors there. All right, let's have a look at it again here. I'm going to set the start depth to zero for demonstration purposes here. Alright, well, remove the material, but the letters 
those flat blocky letters are just not really conducive for uh, a good brand at this point so I asked for a little creative license from the owner to change the text a little bit and I've already done that work so I think I'm just gonna delete this and grab the vectors that I've already worked on let's let's do that I think that would be better than trying to redraw all of this so yeah let's get rid of this and we'll just go grab it from the from the other copy that I've got here where I've done all the work here alright there's our vectors we'll grab them all except that one right there I really don't need that one we'll just copy and paste it to our, our new file here again these layers wanna turn the logo off here get rid of the duplicates alright All right, I think we've got it where we need it that's the vectors we get it lined up on our stock and let's uh, Let's do a simulation here. 65,000 is deep. I can see already that the text there is going to work much, much better. Much better. However, you see the flat part of the text and the logo? That needs to come to a sharp edge. Uh, if it's flat, it's got to be extremely hot to burn that in evenly. I found that if the text is sharp, that will actually cut into the wood and burn at the same time therefore giving you a, a much higher resolution uh, brand so to get that I've simply lowered the start depth by five thousandths doesn't take a lot but by lowering it by five thousandths the start depth look how much sharper the text and the logo is now now you can actually just take a hammer and tap the logo and you'll get a good imprint because the letters and everything are now very sharp and work much better as a brand much better everything comes to a good clean edge and now you just have to get that resolution but the key to that is the start depth if you had it at zero it doesn't clear anything off the top but by getting it down to five thousandths below that starting surface and only cutting twenty thousandths at a time with a, a final pass of ten thousandths gives you an excellent resolution with a relatively inexpensive bit I'm using a sixty degree bit, it, hell it's a half inch in diameter um, it's a pretty big V bit but it comes to a nice sharp point you cannot do this with a V bit that has a any kind of a dull point on it. It's got to come to a, a knife edge point. And that's about it for the software side. We'll, uh, if we haven't already, we'll go look at the machining part of it. I'll turn it on a lathe, drill and tap it for quarter twenty, and then do the CNC work. So here we go.
that son of a bitch.